Hello, my dear friends, and it is me again, as always. Well, my next boo boo V4 turned out looking like a bloody alien prawn or shrimp or whatever. <laughs> right, so let's get on to the business. Uh, the motor distance, I don't. I don't even know yet roughly uh, 230 so that's a 230 size uh, 230 size of a quad so uh, let's start from the start I used the uh, 8 mil 8 mil booms uh, I tested the frame check out the link below I'll put, I'll, I'll, I'll put on the link it looks like it's holding on well with the 400 grams supposedly all a flying weight but she uh this one this one this one is way less right so the camera i'm using is the sony fuv 800 tv lines uh uh vtx is a tc 5a23 those uh the little mini one uh 32 channels um my usual setup for the for the radio and flight controller that i'm used to it's the uh Frisky receiver four channel the the goes to the PPM DR4 to the goes with the with the telemetry inside there's a Afro Mini in there uh, my combat cloverleaf antenna from stainless steel wire unbreakable tested already uh, ESCs ESCs inside and in they are the uh, the, the friend that I was building made the uh, custom custom ENCs that can fit in the 12 mil tubes, but these are go these are going now these these are from the, from the first batch from the immersion RC they will be going on the on the Xiong Vortex quad so uh, loving the loving these ESCs they they bloody going they bloody good uh, motors are RCX uh, 1806 uh, 20 24 2400 kvs uh, props i'll be using five by four and a half now with these motors they can spin the bull the five inch bull nose props like you know no bother easily but the that setup it's a bloody insane power with 400 grams all a flying weight that's that's beyond my beyond my flying skills so i kind of toning down the props to five like to five by four point four so it'll do that's my that's my one led in there that's my rear led in there i didn't i didn't even bother scraping the leds ju just painted over now before i plug it in the leds uh no hold on before i do anything i have to show you the weight all of flying weight is a uh, 360 grams 362 grams brilliant that that should be that should be a rocket i will actually stick on the bullnose props just to check the just to check the max speed <laughs> whatever whatever i will get now before i plug in the before i plug in the leds i had a problem with the squad so uh the thing is uh the maiden i haven't a clue when it's gonna be the maiden because i burn because i burn one of the motors when i plugged in in the gui uh on a clean on a clean clean flight configurator uh the motor motor number three motor number three was going up unevenly even though i said all the all the all all the same i don't know what was going on it was going unevenly but to the motor check configuration it was going it was going evenly but after i saved everything and after i plugged it out and repowered the quad it bloody smoke came out little magic smoke it should um, somehow somehow lately doesn't bloody running out of luck didn't notice didn't notice any smoke from the from the esc but uh the motor smoked so don't know when is it gonna be the maiden so that's my led is shining another thing forgot to mention i uh i reinforced the battery with a with a fiberglass plate because usually when the bar usually usually my batteries are on top and they goes and the hit goes on the battery and, and they crumble so just kind of more kind of more protective more protective of the battery so uh the degree the degree came out 
it's 19 degree came out the tilt so i was i was i had um i had a quad with the motors tilted but i had a suspicion that the weird pitch was because when the quad flies forward uh, the rear props are getting the dirty prop wash uh, from the from the front props so could be so could be not don't know it was it, it was it was just a guess so this way so this way i did like basically my my controller afro mini is set for 90 degrees offset for the for the board mounting and my whole frame is 19 19 degrees back and my props my props i my props are in the level so the camera is the camera is in the line with the frame and it's pointing if you look at that if you look at that level it's pointing 90 degrees up so flying forward this way should be like should be grand usually i tilt my camera usually i tilt my camera be around 15 15 degrees up upwards so in order like as you can see this is not a true edge this is the semi h uh, semi h frame so in order to have my in order to have my rear props in the line i had to make i had to make a little a little kind of a little kind of bridge once I was putting on the frame so I can send I can send the top of the tubes I can send the top of the tubes uh, to have my to have my to have my left and right prop to make sure to make sure they all they all go in a line that's why that's why my motor mounts are so long so right so not much to talk about it so decided to do the build overview before before I take it apart to find out whether is the ESC burned and brought down the motor or it was just the motor but sure, the motor was only little use so don't know what happened there we'll figure it out and at some point it will be made in right folks so much for now see you next time